Hey friends, welcome back. It's Tuesday again, and I'm here to talk to you about your serger because I heard it on the grapevine that you don't know what the differential is. Am I right though? Yep. Well, guess what? I'm gonna tell you what the differential is on your brother 1034 serger, and I'm gonna help you figure out why it's there and how you can use it, which fabrics it benefits, and you know, maybe we can have a little bit of chat if you just keep hanging out. All right, I'm Nye with Ellie and Mac. Let's chat. <laughs> Differential feed is when I want pizza and you want shepherd's pie. <laughs> Differential feed controls the movement of the front and rear feed dogs. Hmm. A feed dog is like a bulldog, only bigger. <laughs> well, that was... Close, but not quite. Feed dogs are the mechanism which are responsible for grasping your fabric and moving it through your machine from the front to the rear. Meow. If you say so. Nice kitty. Differential feed ratio is basically the ratio of speed between your front and your rear feed dogs as they fight to pull your fabric through the machine. Tug of war, anyone? <laughs> You're a show off. Welcome back, friends. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> now that we talked a little bit about feed dogs and differential, now I'm gonna show you where to find them on your machine. On your brother 1034D, your feed dogs are here. And I will put a picture up there so that you know exactly what they look like. I stripped my baby naked for you so you can see her differentials. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Her front differentials are here and the rear are here. And of course, I'm going to send, I'm going to put a picture up there so you can see it. And the switch is here on the side of your machine. You can see that the one is highlighted on your machine because that's the default setting. At one, both the front and rear differential pull the fabric and push the fabric at the same time simultaneously through your machine. This causes no puckering or pulling of your fabrics, okay? So if you're using like a woven, a regular medium weight woven fabric, you just put it on one and you got no problems, Nancy. No problems, Bill. Not a single problem, Zachary. You know what I'm saying? So, you could put it on one with a woven and be just fine. However, if you are working with knit fabrics, hey girl, fabric by Millie Nate. So yes, if you're sewing with knits, you're gonna wanna change the settings on your serger. So, the stretchier your fabric is, the more you're gonna wanna pull this knob up, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why right now. Because as you push this knob up towards two, the front feed dogs are gonna start working faster than the rear. And what this does is it makes it easy for the rear to pull the fabric back through the machine without causing stretching. So essentially, the front feed dogs are front loading the fabric. So the rear feed dogs don't have to reach and stretch it to pull it back. Now what this does is it eliminates stretching your knit fabrics which prevents the waviness. Cause let's be real, if we are not at the beach, there ain't no reason for waves. <laughs> I don't wanna see waves if I ain't at the beach, Nancy. So you wanna go ahead and increase your differential so that you can prevent the waviness in your stretch fabric, which is caused by the rear feed dogs potentially feeding too fast and having to pull your stretch fabric through the machine. Okay, and I'm gonna give you a, a little visual so that you can see kind of like the tug of war that happens with that.
If you're using like a thin fabric, a very, very thin woven fabric, like an organza or something of that type, then you're gonna wanna think about moving this differential down. Because what that does is it causes the front feed dogs to slow down. Slow down and hold your horses, front feed dogs. We got some thin fabric coming through. The front will slow down, right? And then the back will speed up. And what that does is it causes the back to reach and pull the fabric. So as the fabric is being pulled back, it prevents puckering because the fabric is stretched. Now this is a woven fabric, so it's not like stretched like, you know, cotton lycra or anything like that, but it's stretched just enough so that it doesn't pucker as it's moved through the machine. In order to pick the right differential feed gauge for your brother 1034D, all you need to do is determine, am I sewing a woven or a knit? If you're sewing a woven fabric, you can probably just leave it on normal. Here's a note. Pump the brakes, Nancy. Never increase your differential when sewing a heavy woven like denim. Oh, no denims. No, no, no. If you're using a stretch fabric, all you have to do is start with your differential on one and increase until the waviness in your seam decreases. And then you should be good to go. That's all friends. So now you know how to work your differential on your brother 1034D. You know exactly where the knobs are. You know what those little numbers mean. You know exactly what those feed dogs are doing because I showed you my naked surgery. Yes, I did. <laughs> if you like the content that I share on this channel, please come back, like and subscribe. Check out one of my other videos on this channel. I'd love for you to come back every single Tuesday and hang out with me. You go ahead and have a wonderful week. And while you're sewing, go ahead and mess around with that differential, okay? While you're doing this. Doing what? Sewing other things!